Hi everybody, this welcome back to the channel, Charlie's Angel Tarot, and this is going to be your romance reading for September. I hope you are well and safe, and I, a lot of holidays are over now, and the kids are back to school, so I suggest grab a cuppa and listen to your video. I have made the romance videos beforehand, um, but I've had some issues with the computer, so the computer will be taken away uh, or going to the menders uh, for a couple of days. So the romance readings will be done one by one because I had already done a lot, and the generals will be uh, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces, and then Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and then. Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and I will be putting in the timestamps, so please bear with me. Sorry for the inconvenience, but you know, um, I, I can't do anything about it. Take care, and uh, please share and like with everybody, of course, and sorry I won't be able to go live this week, and also, I hope you enjoy the videos, and if you're new, then welcome, please sub and uh, subscribe and hit the bell and then you'll be informed remember to hit it on all otherwise you will block it out and also look at your settings in your mobile apparate apparatus okay take care enjoy the video let's go to the video ciao ciao hi Libra this is your romance reading and I'm using the Tarot of the Kingdoms and I'm using the Romance or uh, Oracle deck from Diana Virtue and TLC for the Soul, Answers of the Angels and the Truth Mirror Lena Mon. Your first card is calling in your soulmates. Your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together or will help you will bring oh I can't get my words out today help bring you together I was right the first time <laughs> sorry do you see that the angels have your back they are at work for you so maintain visualizing what you wishing for and how you see it Pre make sure that you are already have that feeling that you've got it and that will manifest much faster or that you are in a relationship with the type of person that you wish be careful what you wish for though it might not be what you need okay you might want it but you might not need it so be careful like I wish a tall dark handsome brown eyed gentleman <coughs> or I would like to have a slender long-haired, brown-haired, blue-eyed lady. Just don't go in too much detail. Just say, I would love to have a nurturing, caring partner that has equality and understands equilibrium, balance, so that we are on the same frequency. Something specific like that. Now you've got the card, you've got the Empress. The Empress also represents Libra and it's three so be creative in what you manifest and visualize and affirm. The Empress means fertile fertility. It means birth, birth of a child, birth of a project, a birth of a new start because a birth is in itself a new start. Growth blossoming and harvesting so per perhaps you might be birthing this new beginning with a relationship if you are not hooked up if you are hooked up perhaps you might want to get pregnant and actually become a mother like the Empress because she's mother she's also known as mother's nature the earth she is an beautiful, she's nurturing, the, all the seeds that she plants, she nurtures and she guards them. That's the mythological story behind that card. 
So you might find out you're pregnant or you might be hearing of a birth. If you are too mature, you might even become a grandmother. So that is for those that have children that are hooked up, of course. So one of your children could become a mother themselves and you could become the grandmother or an aunt. If you're not hooked up, then this could be the time that you will be hooked up and it will be a birth of a new relationship, something that you have been wishing for, that you've been affirming and uh, um, visualizing. Wow, that is great news. That is if you are wishing to gain a partner. So that is in the first week, but remember time is man-made and she just sits there and gui uh, guides over her crop whether it's literally a crop or whether it is her children and she nurtures them she also teaches them so perhaps you might be teaching somebody else as well wow but remember this is a romance reading so make sure that you are affirming perhaps you are also teaching somebody else how to affirm and visualize and pray Perhaps this could be the new partner, so that you come closer together and get that balance. In the second week, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and to receive the highest energy of all. Not only your heart, but also your solar plex and your mind. If you don't open up those three things, then you can't see what is happening. You can't be conscious of what's happening. Don't be oblivious to what is happening around you. There are signs. The angels will show you or give you signs like a feather uh, fluttering around. Or you might walk and take the dog out for a walk and you see a feather lying on the ground or a penny or a dragonfly or a butterfly. That means transition is here now to this new beginning okay beautiful now the card that you have is spirit so spirit is around you and spirit is really awesome it looks like the lotus flower something is birthing it looks like all the colors of the chakra as well now this card is like I said <coughs> the um, the universe is or spirit is with you this is an uh, extra card there's two extra cards here and one card is the spirit and the other is the universe so it's what your interpretation is of the divine the universe the cosmos or spirit but you can use this card in two ways as the querent which is you and then it represents that you have all the gifts all the talents, all the elements within you to make something happen. It's a bit like the Magician card as well. And it also shows what your specialities is, because you can ask a question like, what is the specialities of the Querent? Because this you can use as a Querent card. Now, if I look at the cards around it, or, um, I could finish the reading, then I would say you've got a nurturing, caring nature. You are very flexible. You are a very loving person as we have two people clinging to each other although this is the three of water celebrations. Let me put it that way. Um, you can celebrate life or you do celebrate life. You see the positive things in life. You can be emotional, you can be very sensitive, you could even be spiritual. So you will use your intuition like a lady. Even if you're a man, you are very sensitive, you have a feminine side, is a nurturing side. Your femininity will come out when needs be. And the same with a lady. Your feminine side will be overhearing anything else. To you it would be uh, that you can also go inside and you are 
very aware or you can be aware Libra that um, what is going on around you and you do balance things um, up like can I let my emotions go or do, am I the mother am I the nurturing do I have to be mature or can I be let my uh, inner child come out and show that I am insecure show that I am sensitive because some people are scared to show their sensitivity and their uh, um, emotions and their intuitions their feelings that they're psychic and very spiritual so this is a beautiful card you are in your power and don't be afraid um, to show yourself it is safe for you to love it is okay to show your emotions and let your inner child come out but be but be focused what is happening around you do you see the circles although they have um, points on them like I said the lotus flower everybody goes in ups and downs but make sure that you are focused on what is happening around you not just in front of you she uses all her sense for guarding her seeds to nurture them whether the children or plants have trust that is the right word trust that you are there consciously so long you make it you come out of your head and be conscious then you are with the program you will see when you can let your emotions go and when you can't when you have to be more grown up be like the mother okay this is this situation is calling for you to have faith faith and trust and look you've got the three of cups and three of water that's the three of cups that means celebration but in this deck it's like you will be melting in together like two peas in a pod and I think Leo got this as well or cancer okay you feel comfortable with this person you can make it happen this is a nurturing relationship this could be with a Libra and you'll be in your element <laughs> definitely okay you will be in your element you'll feel strong and if you're meeting an other Libra then you know what the pros and cons are from an other Libra it's a make or break situation okay but it could also be anybody any sign because this sign spirit is all for signs now we've also got the king of water here and so it can be a cancer Scorpio or a Pisces that you might be hooking up with or hooked are hooked up with they are a nurturing caring loving stably emotional emotionally stable and emotionally passionate they know how to treat a person because they're slightly quicker than the pentacles but the pentacles are also steady and slow or slow and steady and so is water but remember water can be very sensitive and the water signs lots of them are spiritual especially Pisces because that represents the moon and emotions do run high with full moons and new moons so they're very spiritual people so treat treat them with um, generosity clarity honesty and um, gently like a mother because they can be very sensitive and water will go where nothing else goes go with the flow it can go through the crooks and crannies and um, amazing it's just like air fire will burn and spread and sometimes fire gets uh, if fire is contained it can't go any further the same with the pentacles so the air signs and water are more flexible okay 
so you should be able to be uh, understand an other Libra, an air sign, and you should also be able to understand the water sign. Perhaps you have water within your chart. Remember, we are made of sun sign, moon sign, and rising sign, and planets. Okay, now, love yourself first. Don't forget that. Nurture yourself as well. Make yourself attractive. And be the magnet. Let your inner child come out. Don't be too serious, and don't always weigh things up. Let the fun side of you come out. Your emotional side, the feminine side. Men are usually very scared of showing their emotions because they think they have to be the warrior. Well, those days have passed. It is quite quaint and beautiful to see that a man can show his emotions by, by for instance, saying, I love you. Say it a little bit more often, even if you are hooked up. It's nice to hear, not only to see or expect it to know. That's what I personally find difficult when you're hooked up with somebody and they expect you to know that they love you because they're there. No way! You know, it's nice to hear. Show it. Be Show it with gestures. Take people out to dinner or uh, give a bunch of flowers. Something small. And better still, something that is not standard. Be creative. Be Take the three. Be creative in small things small gestures. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yes, if you doll yourself up. Um, when you hooked up, um, doll yourself up and make a picnic basket and take your lovely one or loved one with you to a beautiful place when it's beautiful weather. Or go and uh, rent a little b boat and row on the lake, that is romantic, and picnic in the boat, things like that, it doesn't have to be big. So love yourself first, so make yourself glamorous, mentally, physically, outwardly, inwardly, and you will see the return. Be the magnet, be the beacon, have your com emotions under control, but if you're not hooked up, you could be meeting the king of water which is cancer but don't exclude Scorpio or Pisces and if you are hooked up with one of these people then treat them they love that they love being spoiled they love also they appreciate the small things the nurturing the caring like the Empress Wow okay and then we have TLC for the soul life's little luxuries wow and i was going on about the simplicity of things and it's the little things that count now all of a sudden something shoots into my brain and it says if you don't appreciate if you can't appreciate the small things you're not worth the big things wow that's deep oh the call of duty seems endless mother and oftentimes it is your soul has been wearied and is badly in need of a playful respite. Let, let your inner child come out. You are invited to a temporary release yourself from the dreariness of have tos, shoulds and musts, no doubt. You will now be given the opportunity to dance with the silly and whimsical things of life. Take in the scenery by inhaling the aroma of everything delicious and spontaneous. You've got it, the, the universe, divine, the cosmos, God, angels, whoever you want to call it, they are at work behind the scenes. It's up to you to show, you, show yourself off, love yourself, get dressed up so you can canoodle and kiss and enjoy the quality time with your loved one and if you are not hooked up do that anyway and 
beam because the time is now that you will be connected up you've got this new beginning it's fertile time to get to know somebody new and somebody that will stay with you for a long time get more information think about things who can I ask out who do I fancy who do I want to be in my life and get more information are they available or seek adv advice from a mother figure if you don't know the answer to what can I do how can I do it what is attractive what does this mean or what does that mean what are my qualities if you don't know how to <coughs> visualize pray or do affirmations ask somebody that does then we have the anchor and the anchor is the nine of swords the nine of spades so there is an ending an ending to sleepless nights okay you've been worrying well if you don't know something get more information seek motherly advice or nurturing or caring advice it doesn't have to be a mother it can be a caring person that cares about you ask them mature person that has the experience and knowledge you've got eight 35 so that's an 8 you're in your power okay that's the powerhouse and money house so if you haven't got enough money to go out then do an alternative even if it is a bag of crisps and a can of cola just go and sit on a par uh, park bench with somebody and get to know somebody chatting that is how you can do it it doesn't have to cost anything or much your worries are over, your sleepless nights are over. If you're going to have sleepless nights, it will be because this beautiful thing is going to happen. So long you make it happen, don't force anything. You have the question yes, because the anchor means yes to a, one of your questions. You are coming home to a safe haven. Well, with the, this reading, you are coming in to a safe person you're going to that will feel like home you're coming home that's what it will feel like bonding you'll be celebrating and you'll put down your anchor as long as you want to stay there that you've slung your anchor okay you've put down anchor you're ready to stay and a nine is also an ending where there is an ending there's a new beginning well here you are you've got the new beginning you've got the power and the help of the universe or the divine and the angels the angels have your back they've been working for you okay so give your problems to at night when you go to bed to the divine and the angels and they will work it out for you in their time in the divine time not in the earthly time time is man made so learn to appreciate the little things and when the big things come in then you can appreciate them as well because eight means m money money will be coming to you if you've been without a job you'll be getting a job as well you will feel secure much more secure trust and have faith now your overall energy is the hermit so the hermit let's have a look he is also a very spiritual card that could be Virgo he represents Virgo so Virgo is also in your reading you could be meeting a uh, Virgo if you're not hooked up if you're um, hooked up with a Virgo then he is also very sensitive but he knows how to keep his emotions under control like the king of water because he takes time out for himself he meditates he contemplates evaluates and he throws away what is of no use to him he teaches others the w the things that he knows because he can be an advisor a spiritual advisor an emotional advisor and he is um, a wise old man so like I said if you need um, uh, uh, advice then 
seek advice. It could be from a mother figure, but it could also be a man with a nurturing side, which um, the hermit is, because he's a mature, nurturing, well um, established in wisdom and uh, in life emotionally, so he knows how to handle his emotions as well. So take time out, and in and it's number nine again. You've got two nines again, a sign of the angels saying um, that uh, they are showing you signs that they are here. So don't worry, you don't have to have sleepless nights, just give it over to the universe or the divine and the angels. They will take care of it. Wow. So that is fantastic, and underneath that we've got the Magician. But this is your overall energy, so take time out for yourself, make you beautify yourself if need be, and take care, be the magnet. Uh, love yourself first, like I said, nurture yourself, trust that everything will be alright, you have, you are in your element, you ha you are in your power, okay, you've got all the talents, like I said at the beginning of the reading, this is just a bit like the magician, and the magician is lying underneath the hermit, wow, amazing, I hope you have enjoyed this reading, take care, and stay safe, and I hope you enjoy the month and I hope to see you back in the next reading, whether it's weekly or romantic reading, or in the life on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And remember, if you would like to have an extended reading, then please find all the information in the description box, or go to the website by clicking the little white circle in the top left hand corner. Ciao, ciao. Please like and subscribe.